I begin? Well, let me begin where the story starts. It's 1966, and John Lennon, one of the greatest songwriters of all time, he's visiting an art gallery. All right? Follow me so far? Okay, that's, that's a deformed tree. Tree, stop copying me. Anyway, so he's at this art gallery and there's this dumb art piece up on the ceiling. Okay, so here's the art piece. It's basically the word yes written really small on the ceiling. So you following me? Okay, so... He goes up and he looks at it and he's impressed with it. He's like, oh, wow, I see, I see what that is. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see what that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay enough with the dumb jokes. Well, anyway, so the artist comes up to him and starts talking to him. Okay, so that artist the one that makes a mockery of any sort of actual art and continues to do so to this day. Her name is Yoko Ono. The last name kind of, you know, should give you a hint as to, as to how you should feel when she shows up. All right. So this lady, she starts stalking John Lennon. Like, she would, like, call him all the time. She would, like, run after his limo whenever she was around him. All right? She even threatened to kill herself if... if he didn't give her money to fund her little avant-garde art projects. So, yeah, you kind of see the beginning signs of manipulation here. Now here's, now here's the kicker. Okay, so John lost his mother at around the age of 16. So, and he wasn't really close with her even before that. He lived with his aunt. So he was kind of, you know, emotionally susceptible. He was emotionally vulnerable. And well, Miss Ono here was a master of manipulation, of controlling. And she was exactly the kind of person that, like, he thought he needed in his life. Someone that would give him strict guidelines so that his life wouldn't, so like, so he felt controlled. He felt like something was in control. Like, it didn't all feel like chaos. Okay, so he gradually grows closer to her until one day when his wife's on vacation. Yes, mind you, he cheated on his wife for this manipulative person. All right, so his wife's on vacation and she comes over and they start recording this huge mess of an album that's little more than a whole bunch of noises. Pots and pans and Yoko's famous... Ah! No, literally, that's how she sings. I can, I'll give you a clip right here. Anyway, that's how she sings. So it's just a whole bunch of pots and pans banging together. And then they... PG-13, let's just say they did something that Cynthia wouldn't have been happy to have seen. Cynthia was his first wife. The wife he should have stayed with, in my opinion. So... 
Yeah. And the cover of that album, oh my gosh, it's just the two of them completely stark naked. Like, why? Not only do you record this mess of an album of a whole bunch of nature sounds over pots and pans and Yoko's dolphin screeching, we also have to endure frontal nudity. Like, what? Oh, and the back cover. Can't, take a guess what the back cover is. I'm sure you probably got it. And they call it Unfinished Music. Two virgins. Like, Unfinished Music kind of implies that it's music to begin with. I'm sorry, but that's not music. That's noise. <laughs> So yeah, they 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 do things. Uh, and once again, I died. Well, yeah, they're doing stuff. Okay, so then John's wife, Cynthia, she comes home and she finds Yoko Ono and John Lennon just staring at each other on her living room floor. And Yoko's wearing her bathrobe. And they're just staring at each other. And John has the audacity. All, all, the only recognition he gives to his own wife is, Oh, hey. Like, excuse me. This is the woman that supported you, even though, you know, you're pretty egotistical. Everybody knows John Lennon was pretty egotistical. I'm not saying Paul was innocent either. But, we all know that he was egotistical, he was a, he was kind of a hypocrite with the whole peace thing when he would go, and he would go hit his wife. Yes, but I'm saying things everybody has said. I'm just repeating the story for those who don't know it. The basic gist of it is... That this man just, throughout all that time that Cynthia supported him, through his entire career, she could have split easily. And I'm sure some of it might have been because, you know, it's John Lennon. But, like, I think most of it's just because, you know, she actually cared about him. You know, and then he leaves her for this woman um, that's, like, manipulative and completely without any talent. And that angers me so much. Well, I think I've done en enough for today. Remember, folks, be sure to like and subscribe and share this video with your friends. If you enjoyed it. Sorry for ranting, folks. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.